it's been very cold around there lately. Like way below minus 20 degrees Celsius. Way below zero Fahrenheit. Uh, and I guess it's this uh, polar vortex thing pushing the polar air southwards. So continental Europe, you have had this cold weather occasionally. Temperature has been going up and down. And we have been riding our bikes during this period. And we wanted to talk a bit about how to stay warm on your hands. Uh, we've tested uh, not specific products, but sort of uh, product categories. So what should you wear on your hands? Well, it's slightly individual. I can ride the thin, lightly insulated gloves down to around zero degrees Celsius, perhaps a tad below if it's not a long ride. While Frederick, he will use lightly insulated gloves from like five degrees Celsius, perhaps even warmer. Uh, so it will vary, it's individual. Regardless of how sensitive you are to cold, it's a great tip uh, warming up using your body, preferably using your hand, get the blood flowing, good circulation. That way it's easier maintaining the heat when you start riding. First, we just tried nothing. I mean, uh, bare hands. And uh, yeah, the advantage of riding bare hands is uh, the grip around the handlebars is great. Uh, the feel of the brakes and the shifter lever is great. The downside is that in yeah, a few minutes you won't really feel your fingers and hands and then of course shifting is not great at all. We tried summer gloves like regular trail riding gloves and yeah, they don't really offer any sort of insulation. It feels as cold as riding with bare hands and it's the same with the grip on the handlebars. It's, it's a secure grip, it's easy to shift, it's easy to brake and modulate the brakes. Riding bare hands, you can even operate the button on the motor remote. That becomes more difficult with summer gloves, but uh, still possible. I use lightly insulated gloves a lot, like down to zero degrees or perhaps even colder if I'm not going for a long ride. They offer a decent grip of the handlebars and uh, they are fine for modulating brakes and uh, shifting and so on. Then there is the thick gloves with lots of insulation and they still allow you to do one finger braking operating any kind of levers on the handlebars but having this thick insulation in the gloves makes it difficult getting a firm grip on the handlebars your hands will sort of rotate inside the gloves regardless of how hard you are squeezing and I don't think thick gloves are as hot as at least I would expect them to be the reason for this is that the fingers aren't coming into contact with each other, no skin contact. So the fingers won't transfer heat to each other. And having the pinky finger inside its own compartment, it's not emitting a lot of heat. So you need a lot of insulation and then you're sacrificing handlebar grip. You will more easily get arm pump when riding with thick gloves. How about the mittens then? Like the lightly insulated mitts. Well, they are surprisingly warm because the fingers are in contact with each other, but your hands are sliding around inside the mitts quite a lot. And when shifting gears is okay, but when you try braking, doing one finger braking really is difficult. So we often end up using all four fingers to brake. And if you're riding fast at bumpy surfaces, you have very little grip on the handlebars, so it's not a very safe way to ride. And then there's the thick mittens with lots of insulation. And uh, yeah, that's a funny experience riding this, because you have so little feel of the brake lever, so you don't really know how much you're braking. It's basically impossible to modulate the brakes. So you grip the brake lever, you start pulling, and you've got no idea if the brake pads have started biting or not. So usually when riding with thick mittens, I start by braking too little and then I increase the force and I'm braking too much and I'll let go of the lever and it's really difficult. And all the while, it's very difficult holding on to the handlebar. So yeah, I'm considering thick 
mittens useless for winter riding, especially if you ride at any speed. If you're just commuting slowly, then uh, thin mittens, uh, thick mitts, yeah, they will do. And thick mitts, they are very warm. Uh, even when riding at like minus 15 degrees, I, my hands just got too warm and I wanted to take them off and use something thinner. Next up is the lobster gloves, which has been my favorites for long. I've been riding these lobster gloves down to like minus 15 degrees Celsius without much issues. And these are lightly insulated, so you got a good feel of the brakes. And having these three compartments, one for the finger, one compartment for two fingers and one compartment for the other two fingers, I chose a slightly big lobster glove so I'm able to move the middle finger between the compartments. So I can move the middle finger over to the rightmost compartment, warming up the smaller fingers while allowing me to do one finger braking with the index finger. So yeah, it's easy modulating the brakes while I've still got good grip on the handlebars. But there are more options. There are heated gloves and mitts. We never tested those and honestly, I never missed them. We were riding at way below minus 20 degrees and I was happy with the passively insulated gloves, or rather, lobster gloves. But you also got the bar mitts. Our kind is a neoprene tube with an angle, so we pull it over the end of the handlebars and it covers up pretty much everything. The brakes, the shifter, the dropper lever, the motor remote, and on some bikes it will even cover the display. And that's a bit of an issue, perhaps, because then you won't be able to monitor the battery state of charge that easily. Other than that, it's great covering up these things. If you are, I mean, when you fall, you won't clog the shifters and everything with snow. We've experienced that a couple of times, that when falling and then using the motor remote afterwards, the buttons can freeze and you won't be able to operate it. So then it's a great advantage. They're just covering it up in this neoprint cover. Uh, for riding with the neoprene covers, you could ride barehanded inside, but uh, there are some seams and the neoprene isn't really that soft, so it will rub your skin. So, at least, at the very least, I would use uh, summer gloves. And then you've got optimum control of uh, levers and handlebars and so, so on. But uh, I am mostly using the bar mitts with either thin, lightly insulated gloves, or with the lobster gloves. And riding bar mitts and lobster gloves, you can ride properly fast without freezing on your hands. It will feel like your face is coming off before you start freezing on your hands. At least that's the case for me. Because the, this neoprene cover, it's waterproof, but it's also windproof. So the faster you go, the better the effect. But it's not like these neoprene covers feel particularly warm. If you just put your hands, bare hands inside them, they will feel chill. So, yeah, in proper cold, I use the lobster gloves and uh, I can't ask for anything else. It's more than enough for, for me. Even the lightly insulated gloves will probably work down to as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. The bar mitts we have been testing, they're in size large and that doesn't reflect the size of your hands. It's the size of the gloves or the mitts that you plan on using inside them. Using very thick mitts inside these bar mitts, I think that's not ideal because it will get too cramped. You will have problems getting your hands around the brake lever. The bar mitts will be in the way. But they are available in different sizes. So the size large, it's made for lightly to medium insulated uh, mitts and gloves. When I started riding with the bar mitts, they felt a bit awkward, a bit cumbersome, sort of in the way, but it didn't take long, like half an hour, an hour into the ride, and they felt okay. Sure, they look a bit cumbersome, and if I'm just going on a short ride, I won't be bothered putting them on, most likely. So if I was to declare a winner, yeah, shorter rides, depending on the temperature, lightly insulated gloves or lobster gloves. 
if it's cold or if it's moist or wet outside or if I'm going for a very long ride I would use either of those with the bar mitts. That's it. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.